Good morning, family. Um, this is week five, day three. So we're going to start with a two-minute stillness before God. You can pause your video. The scripture we're reading today is John 13, 34 through 35. <clears throat> a new command I give you, love one another, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. The devotional is the Jewish theologian Martin Buber argued that in most of our routine interactions, we tend to treat people as objects or means to an end which he described as an I-it relationships. However, the healthiest or most mature relationships between human beings are those Bubber characterized as I-thou relationships. These true relationships, says Bubber, can exist only between two people willing to connect across their differences. God fills that in-between space of an I-thou relationship. God not only can be glimpsed in, gen in genuine dialogue between the two persons, but also penetrates the space between them, making it sacred space. My world, your world. The central tenet of Bubber's life work was that the I-thou relationship between persons intimately reflects the I-thou relationship humans have with God. Genuine relationship with any thou shows traces of the eternal thou. This helps to explain why it is important, why it is powerful, excuse me, this helps to explain why it is a powerful experience when we listen deeply to someone. When genuine love is found in a relationship, God's presence is manifest. The space that once separated us becomes sacred space. Question to consider, what adjustments might you need to make to treat each person you meet today as a thou rather than an it? And for me, what helps me is to know that God created each human being and his image and his love and so therefore that helps me to love my neighbor as myself here's the prayer lord help me slow down so that i don't treat people as objects or obstacles to be overcome thank you that you always treat me as a thou with your help i want to do the same for others this day in jesus name Amen. And then we will conclude with two minutes of silence. Thank you. Love you, fam. Have a great day.